all of the million eggs that could have been chosen it was you it was you you made it you made it so it wasn't for nothing it was for a reason do not let that be taken for granted don't take any day for granted My name is Janisha. Happy Monday and welcome back to another Monday Motivation. If I sound a little out of breath, I'm out here walking, pushing the stroller, trying to get a little speed walk on. So that's why y'all. Today for the second Monday Motivation of January, I want to stick to the same theme of new mindset, new year. But what I want to talk about today is you are here for a reason, not a season, for a reason. Find your purpose and be intentional. You woke up this morning, you got breath in your body. If you are able to even sit and watch this video and listen to these words I'm saying, then that tells you everything that you need to know. God is telling you it's a reason that you're here. It's a reason that he put you on this earth and you need to figure out what that is and put your intentions into that. In the world around us right now, it's a lot of people going through bad situations. It's a lot of sickness. It's a lot of deaths going around. And I think people don't take advantage of the opportunities that we have while we're still alive, while there's still breath in your body, you still have opportunity. No matter what your situation is, it can always turn around. Our physical, bodies are temporary our physical bodies are on this earth for a period of time but our souls live forever your soul will live forever now i tell you that to say we need to spend less time focusing on the outside and more time focusing on the inside a lot of times we get caught up in our current situation but going back to the conversation about mindset, that's what it's all about. Cause how do you choose to look at it? You ever heard a glass half empty or a glass half full? It's the same glass, but it's all in how you choose to look at it. Look at your opportunity. If you woke up, that's an opportunity for change. That's an opportunity to do better. And that's an opportunity to make a difference for the good. Every morning when you wake up, set your intentions for the day. And throughout your day, be intentional with your words and your actions. Nothing on this earth is by coincidence or by chance. Everything is for a reason, whether it's a part of your plan or if you straying away from the path, it's all about being intentional with what you do and how you choose to live. Whether you believe it or not, somebody is always, always watching. If you have kids, your kids are always watching you and they mimic what you do. If you have siblings, your siblings are always watching you and they mimic what you do. Doesn't matter who it is. So be intentional and put out what you want to get back. That energy you put out is always gonna come back to you. We react off of emotion. And a lot of times people let a temporary emotion make a permanent decision or have a permanent effect when well, we need to be teaching each other to instead of reacting out of emotion learn how to not let a temporary situation take control of you you control you you don't let nobody or no situation control your emotion or change your character you have to be intentional temporary emotions shouldn't dictate permanent outcomes there we go that's what it is if you want to get closer or start trying to explore what your purpose is, if you journal or you're trying to get into journaling, let that be one of your prompts this week. What is my purpose? And just start writing. Don't think, don't overthink, don't think too hard. Just start writing, just let your hand flow. Just let your thoughts flow into the paper and you will be surprised about how much you learn about yourself. 
didn't even know that today was Martin Luther King Day. I don't keep up with holidays no more. But when I was thinking about it, Martin Luther King is a great example of how much change one person can make when you set your mind to it. Just think about it. It's no telling without him and others just like him how much could have been and would have been different. So think about whether your change is meant to be big or small, whether you meant to affect one person or several or many. If you help just one, that's making a change. So type of what type of legacy do you want to leave behind and what do you want to be remembered for? Think about that. I know that for me personally, I need to be more intentional with using my gifts that God gave me, not taking nothing for granted and actually putting it to use. Number two, I need to be more intentional with spending more quality time with the people that I love, the people that mean a lot to me and show them that they mean a lot to me. Write down a couple things that you want to be more intentional about this week, just to keep in mind. And if y'all made it to the end of this video, thank you for watching. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. I'm gonna do another Monday motivation in two weeks, so stay tuned. I love y'all. If no one told you today, stay positive, spread love, and like. Catch y'all next time.